the new royal documentary does not include Harry or Meghan. According to its source, the palace has apparently insulted the genders after they were supposedly left out of a brand new royal documentary to honor King Charles III. A new documentary, purportedly produced by the palace, excludes Harry and Meghan due to their prior actions and business choices. Following the recent anniversary of the late Queen's demise, the program is intended to honor the king. Speaking to Bella magazine about the new documentary, a source claimed the palace wants to release a special program honoring our new king with important members of the royal family discussing their love and affection for him and all the significant work that he has done while also touching on how anticipated and sought after the proposed show is. They added both the BBC and ITV and were in talks to add the program, but there has already been a strict ban on making any mention of Meghan and Harry as f when Catherine and Meghan Markle wed her grandchildren, Prince William and Prince Harry, the late Queen Elizabeth II was once upbeat about them. The quartet had great potential to lead the monarchy of the future, in the eyes of the Koreans. Ingrid Seward, a royal novelist, revealed to a media source the sometimes difficult financial responsibilities and supporting the father after she was gone. Since the passing of his grandmother and the accession of his father to the throne, Prince Harry's status within the royal family has drastically shifted. The royal specialist went on to say that Harry was demoted to the bottom of the royal pile, nearly but not quite an outsider, rather than playing the significant part he had expected him to. His casual attitude and lack of pretentiousness led to rumors that he was one of Elizabeth II's favorites grandkids. This would alter when, in 2016, the fiery-haired prince began dating Meghan. However, the monarch regularly went to Harry for advice if she wanted assistance with a contemporary joke or even just to appear current to younger people. In contrast to academics, the Korean has always favored the company of upbeat young people like Harry's grandson. When the couple wed in May 2018, the editor of Majesty magazine said, Harry would be the first to admit that his expensive private school education gave him nothing more than a quick wit and an excellent talent for mimicry. He always got it and gave great cheer to those he met on official royal engagements, and so did Meghan, she smiled, pressed flesh, and hugged the public in an all-embracing way. It is said that Queen Elizabeth took Meghan under her wing to try and right some of the wrongs that had occurred throughout her reign regarding commoners marrying senior royal princes. This worked for a while. They were the ideal complement to William and Kate, who were polished and successful but still had plenty of humour, according to Ingrid. The Prince and Princess of Wales went on to become the epitome of what the late monarch admired in obedient senior royals, whilst Harry and Meghan chose to follow Edward and Wallace's example. Oh, 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 oh,